Well, first off, hopefully this video will even be able to make it to the internet because all I did five minutes ago was check the weather network and all I see is head for cover, head for a bunker because a storm is a brewing. So yeah, hopefully this video will be able to make it to YouTube because uh, hopefully will be able to make it to YouTube before shit hits the fan because yeah, this is supposed to be going down at the moment. So, yeah, it's very calm outside from what I'm hearing. It is very calm, which I guess this is the calm before the storm. Any second now, it's going to be cars flying around and cows fucking flying around in the sky and shit because the wind warning is in effect, which I'm not even worried about, to be honest, because every day it seems that the stupid weather network always makes up this shit saying that there's going to be crazy wind, crazy snow, crazy rain or something, and there's not anything. It'll be like the nicest night you've ever seen. So, but yeah, that's supposed that's supposed to be going on right now, so I'm trying to do this commentary and stuff before uh, all that starts, or that, yeah, all that stuff starts to happen. So, my damn luck, I'm, ta I'm probably just jinxed it by saying nothing is going to happen. It's probably going to be the biggest hurricane to ever be seen. No, it's up here, there's never bad hurricanes or anything, but still, this is supposed to be going on right now. I didn't even know that was supposed to happen. I would have done this earlier if I knew there was going to be some crazy shit happening tonight. But yeah, either way, into the video now. I picked up uh, the flashback Jacoby Ellsbury again because I remember when I first picked him up, I was just looking at his stats and stuff, and I was just like, man, this may be one of the best cards in this game just by his stats. And I was able to do pretty well with him, too, when he first made the debut and stuff, like the first couple games. He hit a couple. I remember the first at-bat he had, and the very first pitch was a was a mammoth home run to right field. Like, I was sitting on something up in the strike zone because, yeah, everyone tries to, or some people like to attack Jacoby Ellsbury up and in and stuff like that. And I, I was just waiting on that pitch. And very first pitch of the flashback Ellsbury that he got was sent to right field over the fence. I remember that because that was probably uh, one of the best debut games I had with him too. I think I got a couple hits in that game. I mean, the only other debut games that were a little bit better than Ellsbury's was probably Grady Sizemore, obviously, and maybe a couple other people too. But yeah, man, this flashback Jacoby Ellsbury is legitimately one of the best cards in this game, dude. No, no question. You got somebody with good contact stats, good power, with the 94 power versus righties, and he also has 96 speed, 90 fielding. I mean, really the only thing bad, the only thing that you can complain about about this card is the arm strength. That is it. You can't even you can't even say a bad word about any other stat on this flashback Ellsbury. So yeah, he is back on the squad. And like I was saying, I've been struggling a little bit with Grady lately, so he is on the bench for uh, just just a little bit maybe he's gonna be back in at some point hopefully because yeah I haven't been doing that well with Grady I mean I've been able to get some base hits with him in, cu in a couple games but I have not been hitting the home runs I would be like I would like to be hitting with Grady because yeah it's just been yeah it's been a struggle it's been weird kind of because it was just almost a guarantee that Grady Sizemore was gonna go out there and hit a home run at least one home run in every single game he played, but that has not been the case the past like month or so. So I wanted to pick up Ellsbury again, and it's good to have speed guys in the lineup too, man. Like even Brantley has 80 speed, so that was another good speed addition to the lineup. And with Altuve at the bottom of the lineup, and even Ian Kinsler as the flashback Ian Kinsler has 80 speed too. So I got a good, uh, I got some players in this lineup right now with some good speed. I mean, if I did have Crawford in. Uh, other than Ted Williams, then pretty much almost every well, there'd be yeah, there'd be a lot of people in the lineup with speed, and yeah, I'm probably gonna do that in the next couple games. Put like all those speed guys out there in the outfield, and then even yeah, like Altuve and Kinsler will have good speed too. But the way Ted Williams has been swinging the bat, I don't even know if I could even think about putting him on the bench. But dude, like, come on, man! I'm just watching this video, and I'm I'm already getting pissed off because Corey Seager is on this guy's team, and I was just saying it too. I was like, I fucking guarantee, man! I was just looking to the heavens, and I was like, you are going to make Corey Seager hit a home run, aren't you? Boom! Hits a home run to straightaway center field. So that dude, that's <laughs> that's honestly so funny, man, because it's just like every single time I play Corey Seager or somebody with Corey Seager, he just does shit like that. It's so damn crazy. It's every single time, too, so it's like, what, the biggest buzzkill ever. Corey Seager is the number one buzzkill in this game. So, yeah, the, yeah, you saw the 
Uh, Russell Martin gunned that man out at second base, I think, in the last inning, too. So everybody who's tried to steal on Russell Martin so far has been hosed. And I've been able to make some solid some solid swings with this flashback Martin, too. I mean, I've just got under a couple couple of these pitches, man. I just got under a couple of them, especially against the righties. People are trying to attack the inside part of the plate pretty much. I've noticed that. That almost everybody I've uh, played, so well, I've only played a couple games with this Martin, but still, almost everybody is trying to attack the inside part of the plate. And I've been making some good swings, but I've just got under a couple of them. Other than that, I mean, they probably would have been hit over the wall. But I mean, Altuve is, this is why Altuve is at the bottom of the lineup, man, because you need somebody like this who could just come up with some clutch base hits, man. Some people put all their bad bats at the bottom of the lineup. I mean, I like having at least one bat I can count on for sure at the bottom of the lineup. I mean, Altuve pretty much the second leadoff hitter, even though I do have the pitcher batting ninth right now. Altuve is just is just money, dude. He is a guaranteed base hit pretty much every single time, too. I haven't even talked that highly of Jose Altuve ever since he's been on the squad because it's just been pretty much in every game occurrence that he's gone out there and done stuff like that. In every single game I talk about Altuve, which I don't that much, but every game I do... I talk about how the power is underrated, man. Even though those stats don't show it, this this guy right here can definitely hit some moonshots, especially against the lefties. It is is not even fair when you have a lefty on the hill and you got to face Jose Altuve. This that's the number one card in this game who can just destroy the lefties, if you ask me. And another player who can destroy lefties is this flashback Martin, which. Thank God I was able to get a lefty. Well, this guy was putting a lefty on the mound because, yeah, it's been... I've only faced the... Well, the game I... The, the debut game I had with the prime uh, Martin, what, there was a lefty on the mound, but dude left in like the second or third inning. I only had like two at-bats with him in that game, so I didn't get a good amount of at-bats with Martin. So he's putting Andrew Miller in, I think this was, and I'm just flying out again. I mean, just got under that one as well. So Martin... I don't know, man. Like this isn't this isn't just one of these cards where you make good contact every like pool holes or something where you're making solid contact every time and it's just a fly out to the warning track or something. I'm just getting under these balls, so hopefully I can make some better contact and they'll be they'll be hit over the fence because I've been hearing too from people that they've had or they have this uh, prime Martin on their squad too and they've been hitting moon shots even against the righties too. So hopefully Martin can do that for myself because he's definitely been doing a good job behind the plate. Gunning out every single person who's tried to steal. And this guy had A-Rod in his lineup. I'm not really sure what A-Rod that was. But as I'm talking about Martin throwing out all these guys, that was a bad throw. That's the only bad thing about this Martin card defensively is the arm accuracy. It's like 50-something, so that's, it's pretty bad. So I'm surprised that hasn't come into play so far, but it does right there. So this guy is making it into second base. And this guy was trying to steal every single bag. So this is why I was going to the slide step. Some people may be wondering why I'm doing that. Is because this guy was trying to steal second. He was trying to steal third. And Jesus Christ only knows if this guy was going to make it to third base. He'd probably try and steal home too. This is just one of those guys who had the jitters on the base pass. So I had, yeah, I had to try and go to the slide step as much as possible. And Altuve is up. And he is at it again. That is over the fence. Altuve doing it once again. That is another home run on the board for Altuve. So I need to count. I need to go into the statistics and see how many home runs Altuve has hit for the squad because it is ridiculous, man. He may have at least 30. That's no joke. Whenever I face a lefty, too, you can just, you can just put it in the box score right now. Altuve will get a home run on the board, and he gets another one. So Ted Williams, Ted Williams, too, man. Ted Williams may be... Just a killer against everybody. I was talking so much shit about Ted Williams. Not even that long ago, man. Only a couple weeks ago, I was talking so much shit about Ted Williams. It was it was so bad, man. And then I just put him in like a, two weeks ago or something. And ever since then, he has been doing absolutely amazing. So you would think, man, like I just had a feeling too, like pools. I don't even like using pools. But even still, when I was doing bad with Ted Williams, I was just waiting for him to break out of the slump. And finally, he has... Because it has pretty much been a constant struggle ever since I picked him up back in August. But after that base hit from Ian Kinsler, we got the bases juiced. So Altuve can put this game away pretty much with one swing of the bat. If I wanted anybody up at the plate right now, it would be Altuve or Ted Williams. Maybe even Michael Brantley as well. But Altuve is just grinding out to second base. 
So I'm not able to cash in with the bases loaded, which has pretty much been consistent as well, man. I, I don't know. I, I like panic when the bases are juiced or something. I can't get shit when the bases are loaded half the time, and I don't right there. So I still got a two-run lead at least still. So that's looking pretty good. I mean, Kelvin Herrera came in this game. I don't know if anyone noticed just from watching the video, but this guy could not touch Kelvin Herrera when he was in. The only reason I took him out was because he ran out of energy. And I didn't want to leave him in when he was out of energy because I just figured this guy was just going to... Uh, he was going to snap out of it and just start, you know, hitting hitting balls out of this damn stadium left, right, and center too. So I put in Billy Wagner. and he, Luckily, this guy wasn't able to get a home run too because he was hitting some balls deep when Billy Wagner was in. And I don't even know how that didn't leave the park right there with Ellsbury. That was actually pretty solid contact, but apparently just got under it. And it was just a flower to right field. And then Brantley was able to make some... Uh, make it a good swing right there too and that was just a fly out to center field so now we are going into the ever dangerous the always scary and shit always goes down in the ninth inning so bottom of the ninth inning uh, the flashback Joaquin Benoit is in I mean I think he had a couple righties coming up his Diamond Dynasty player was a switch hitter obviously I did have Andrew Miller warming up in the pen not letting anything, anything bullshit related happen, dude. Everybody is going in bunt defense. I don't care. Some people are probably scratching their head thinking, this guy is a lunatic for, put, for putting everybody in bunt defense. But that's what you got to do. That's all you got to do to get people, to get motherfuckers from just qu quit laying down those bunts and shit. But, of course, the ninth inning rolls around and base hits are being dished out. So, A-Rod gets on the board. So, not too bad, right? Not too bad. It's not a big deal. So, all I need to do is just prevent this guy from getting a home run or just getting another body on base. But first pitch of the next at bat, he's able to squeak one right by the third baseman, and he's able to get to first. So, this is not looking good. I'm biting myself in the ass again. This is what happens, man. I always shoot myself in the foot in these situations. Walking Edgar Martinez... So the bases are loaded. So you would think he's going to tag up for sure right here. I knew it. He was going to go. I may have had a chance to get him at home plate, but I, I figured this guy was going to try and uh, get to third base right there too. So throwing it to third, this guy tries to send that runner back to third base. I mean, obviously that was a mistake from him because he probably just tried to send that runner back to second base. But this guy is making a huge boneheaded mistake to end this game because he most likely would have came back. With the bases, lo the bases loaded and only one down, I was pretty... Every fucking ninth inning is intense. That's all it is. 